Berries. I just heard Water Baby. I don't know what that has to do with. Water Baby. Water Baby. It's a media download I just got for you. Huh. This is your intimate tarot reading. My name is Ebony. This is White Crow Tarot. Guys, welcome back to the channel, Aries. Aries. Hmm. It's a really interesting download. I don't know what that's for. Water baby. You could have a water baby. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Be connected to a water baby. Hmm. Maybe your lover's a water baby. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's something you're going to call something. I don't know. General messages only, of course. Take what resonates with you, Aries. Leave what does not. I pre-pull your oracle energy. We clarify at the end of the reading. Aries, if something does resonate with you today, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Welcome back, returning subscribers. You know the deal. You know the drill. Let's go. Take what resonates with you, Aries. Leave what does not. If this is not your story today, guys, do not force it to fit. If something does not resonate with you, don't take it. Okay? Check your other placements. Otherwise, I will see you on the next round of readings. I'm using the Witches to Row today to tell your story. Clarifying as ever with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Guys, this does feature graphic sexual illustrations. If you're uncomfortable with that, then I will give you a reminder to click off the reading before we clarify. But keep in mind, this is an intimate tarot reading, so expect to see such images and hear such language that is appropriate. There is mild cursing on this channel if you're uncomfortable with that. This is probably not the channel for you. All right, guys. To that point, standing our ground, you darn right, I will stand my ground with you, for sure. My channel, I guess this one to come out, all right, is that at the heart of our reading, standing our ground, work, work situation, we're focused on work, and our own happiness, or work just makes us happy, work's making us happy right now, something we're working on is making us happy. We're defending that. That's our private thought. That is what we are standing firm about. Work. Making us happy. In a connection? I don't know. Could be kind of looking a little single here, but we shall see. We shall see. You're focused on work, or maybe you're about to meet someone at work. Interesting. Okay, what led up to this situation? Seven of Wands at the heart of your reading here. Interesting. You released yourself from heartbreak from a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Me not like. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be the other person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Not standing in their power for sure. All right. Or you're just being defensive here with someone. Issue of a coin. They weren't loyal to you. Loyalty? That question here. Loyalty is in question. Oh, boy. Show me the challenge. What's the obstacle between the two of you at this time? The star. The star chasing that dream. Are we on the same path together? Are we going in the same direction together? Or are we holding back that thought? Are we holding back what we want? Definitely an issue of a coin. Someone's kind of... Maybe finances aren't so good right now. That kind of thing. Worried about money. Someone was heavily working. 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 Someone's working and the other person is enjoying themselves. Or someone was working. Someone. Yeah, there's a kind of an issue of, la of laziness here I just heard. Like, 
someone puts in all the work and the other person just kind of does nothing? The dream is here. You're standing your ground, defending something. That's your fire energy. Yeah. Led up to this is the star. Could just be dealing with an Aquarius. It's not telling me a whole lot, except you're chasing something. It's a dream, or you're this person, or this relationship, or this something was... You see them as a rising star? Maybe you are a rising star. And so it's a balance of maintaining your work and your love life while you become a rising star. Ah. Okay. Cool. I heard. 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 Alrighty, that is the challenge too, sure. That's an obstacle for sure. How does this resolve for Aries in the future? How does this connection resolve in the future? Absolutely. Bam! Justice! Queen of Justice for you, Aries. Let me know if you're dealing with a Libra. Justice coming in for you and a new pathway, Ace of Wands. Kind of in reverse right now because it hasn't happened yet, right? But justice is coming in for you. A karmic balance being served over the star. That's lovely. Could just be dealing with a Libra. That's beautiful. What does Aries have to do in the meantime to go towards it? Stop spying on your person or keeping a lookout for it. You're working on it. You're looking at it. It requires your attention. Again, you're learning more. Spying on them. Are you watching them? You're watching someone? Someone's watching you. Yeah. Hiding it, too. Yep. Someone's got fashion. Mm -hmm. Someone's waiting to start a new chapter with you. Yep. Fighting for it. They sense competition around your energy. Maybe they have, maybe you, because you're a rising star, you, you're juggling work, you're juggling money, you're juggling coin, you're juggling your career, you're juggling so much at one time that your attention is swept away elsewhere. Someone's focused on work and they want you to be focused on them. They watch you, wait for signs, clues, signals from you. Are we still doing this thing? Are we still a thing? Are we, are we, whatever we are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any additional action that Aries needs to do at this time? Oh, elevate this status. When are we doing the official thing here, Aries? The Empress. Definitely dealing with either Taurus or Libra, for sure. Or you are the Empress here, honey. You are the empress, or you are the magician, manifesting, calling in something, a collaboration. You want to collaborate. Yeah, sure do. With that new beginning, money coming to you, honey. So whatever you're working on, I think, too, Aries, is going to be very fruitful for you. Keep that in mind. It's all leading to a very abundant and prosperous, successful thing here for you. You're literally calling it in. You're working diligently towards this abundance, right? And the Empress is here, which is automatic abundance, guys. She's all about growth and expansion. I like to see it for you. So wherever this connection is going for you, Aries, I think it's off to a good start. I do. Now, this is obviously not going to relate to all of you. So take what resonates and leave what does not. But it's nice to see this for your energy. So I like it. Your last reading was kind of... Guys, if anything, if anything is resonating with you, be sure to leave a like on the video, guys. Let me know. We are now entering the terror of sexual magic. If you're uncomfortable seeing graphic sexual illustrations, now is the time to click off. But I don't know who wouldn't want to know about what's going on in this connection, because it's quite, quite interesting. Interesting. Now. And a little contradictory, too. This is telling me maybe this was a past situation for you. The power struggle that you feel with this person, five of swords, or this personal doubt, right? Someone loves your back, by the way. And your butt. But I always have to say that every time this card comes out, guys. <laughs> you also have been very uh, kind of wounded warrior style, guarded with this person a little bit, not... And we saw the miser trying to pop out, not wanting to let anyone come close to your heart space. You haven't known how to express yourself emotionally, and you're kind of covering, someone's covering this girl's mouth, like he's covering her mouth. Like someone in this connection doesn't know how to express themselves emotionally. They're just guarded to the idea of, let's not get too close, all right, just yet. I'm kind of, 
busy with my heart space over here. Let's just, let's, let's just not. Okay, let's, let's just hold the phone. Okay, that's what Aries is saying. All right, let's take this one little step at a time, maybe. Maybe. Someone's just watching an empress right now. Keeping your eye out on this person. Hmm. Hmm. There's someone who be watching you, straight up. It's very interesting. Guarded, too. Show me the Seven of Wands. Why did we start the story so... with so much defensiveness? Hmm. Well... We have the Emperor. Universe. <laughs> now we have also the Emperor and the Empress now. I'm sensing separation though. Separation in this connection, the Emperor. The passion was held back too long. Is what I just heard. You held it back too long. And then if you deal with the Gemini. Lovers on the situation. This is a lover situation. You've been holding back the passion you have for this person. Yes, I hear that. I hear that. Some of you are quite stoic about it too. You we you don't tell much. You don't say much. You don't. You're holding back passion. And this has a potential of elevating to a higher level here with someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone. That could, then that's your energy. You know, the Emperor. You coming out to clarify this point. You've been holding back a lot of passion for somebody, Aries. I see it. Oh, yeah. But not for no reason. You were healing your heart after a failed victory, I feel like, with someone here. Now, Again, the Queen of Pentacles, guys, this could be the wife. You know, she is a low-level emp empress, but she in reverse. Mina like. Mina like to see her in reverse. This feels like new to me. We'll find out, though. We will, we will clarify. This could be the same person. Maybe you want to heal a situation with this person. Why is this person here, please? This could be you, too, by the way. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, please? Whose heart is broken over a situation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heart is broken because they walked away or you walked away after a new lover. Someone felt rejected here. Someone got picked over the other person. I see. I see. Someone was chosen. Yes. You guys did the waltz. You did the dance, right? You waltzed in and you waltzed out of each other's energy. It's back and forth between the two of you. In and out, runner changed their situation. In and out. One person engages the other, retreats. It's again, it's this hard, this hard idea of, of opening up and expressing your true feelings. Someone just does not, someone flat out just didn't want to go that deep or could be that personal. Someone also is showing up as a page when they should be a fucking king. You know, someone here is an emperor. This had potential to go to a higher level of commitment, but why is it not? Or it just hasn't yet? Why? Because someone's a page and someone's an emperor. Someone immature as hell over here. Someone else is an empress. Okay. Okay. Huh. Show me the star. What's the dream here? Are we going to make it happen? It could happen. Y'all are pulling up some majors here. Okay, we got the star. We got justice. We got the magician underlying the whole spread. What are we doing? We're going to give it a think. We're going to give it a little think. A little thinky thought, mm -hmm. but we're holding back passion. We're holding back that communication that we want. Eight of Wands, Aries, holding back that communication. Yes, we are not taking action towards it right now. Being indecisive about it. This Two of Swords situation. We're gonna give it some thought. Why? Why are we holding back this communication? Overthinking it because you're overthinking it straight up eight and eight eight and eight eight of swords to the eight of wands You're overthinking this why? Why are we so up in our head about it, but you don't want and again look here eight 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 Holy hell eight of cups eight of wands eight 
of swords. Eight, eight, eight. All the, well, three eights on your board here. Last time we had the threes, all the threes. So here, oh God. Y'all don't know, if you're you're in and out. You don't know whether to stay or whether to go. Do I stay? Do I go? I don't know. In and out. Eight of Cups. I don't know. Do I stay with this person? Do I not? Do I? Do I? You keep going back to this person who I just heard? We keep repeating cycles with this person? <laughs> that we overthink ourselves in a situation? I don't want to take action with them, but I do anyway. They have that kind of pull over you because they have that kind of star power. But are they really a star? Someone, clearly, maybe, maybe you are. This person maybe keeps coming back to you. Because you are their guiding light and their pathway. But they gotta do it on their own, too, guys. Ooh. You trapping each other in a situation. Justice, what are you here for? Ugh, ah, why? That's too much. Too much. Ooh, hello. That's too much, spirit. But I see what's going on here. You're trapped in your head of this, this idea that you hold back, that you want to touch them, you want to get to know them, but you also sense competition around them. You can't, you feel like they've cheated on you. Yes, you do. You can't, you... It stresses you out to think that this person, that your person, is holding back from you, Aries, that maybe they've stepped out on their connection with you, okay? Nine of Swords to the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Wands, okay? You think that, they're, that your person here has put you straight up in a third-party situation. Three of Swords. This is why Justice is here. Maybe to bring the light to you in this situation. To shed a light on the situation. I mean, we have the Three of Swords right here. Kind of double confirmation. You know what I mean? Double clarification. That's why you walked away, but you also walked back to them. You went back. Or well, this is an ex, and they're watching you. They're watching to see what you're doing next. Ugh! Page of Swords, what you watching? Good night. Trying to figure out when to take action. Knight of Pentacles. I'm not gonna take all that garbage that just tried to try to try to do its junk. Yeah, they want to romanticize you. They dream about a six of cups with you and temperance. They think they can heal the situation with you in time. Meanwhile, they keep memories of you and pictures of you and good times with you and times that when things were good and happy six of cups to the knight of cups and rever no it's just no it's just a freaking no all right well not and that's why they're moving so slowly to you in the first place they're moving damn slow knight of pentacles they're not moving at all why is this showing up please why is all this energy showing up on my board so no one got time for all this no one got time for all this yeah you stopped because they stopped they want to invest in you. Spirit, you're trying to flip all this energy around. Let's stay consistent here, one thing at a time. They want to invest with you, but they don't. Right? They pull back on their investment, or you pull back on your investment. That's advice. That's the action that they're supposed to take, or that you're supposed to take. You're not meant to romanticize this person anymore. But you want to. You're so in and out in your own thought process, Aries. I feel you. Someone, you're so inconsistent, it's it's a little driving me crazy. Some, I feel you. I don't know who the hell I'm talking to in here. I feel you, though. You don't know what you want. You want in, then you want out. Your fire is, 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 look, I'm trying to keep you warm over here, okay? I put you by the fire for a reason. All right, to keep you warm and satiated and satisfied. But now you're acting like you want to move away from it. Then you want to go back towards it. Then you want, like, someone's pregnant out here. Someone's pregnant. This is like emotional turmoil. Someone is straight up pregnant. Hormones going through the roof, back and forth. I don't know what I want one minute, then I do. And someone is clearly pregnant because there's an empress sitting right here. So I can say that. Some of you, someone out here pregnant, up in their emotions. I feel it. Why are you here, empress? I feel it. You don't know what you want. <laughs> ah. And you're, you're sitting here making up stories in your head about what your person's doing. You're watching them. You're thinking they're doing all this and that. Maybe they are. I don't know. But 
in the meantime, you're making up stories in your head. Maybe you have proof. I don't know. But you're manifesting either way. Either way, honey, you manifest it. Okay? And we have the world. Kind of in reverse. Either way. <laughs> either way, the world is kind of the world. Either way, it comes up. You know what I mean? So that could be closing out chapters or starting a new one with this person. Seven of Wands, where we started, is where we ended the Seven of Wands in reverse now. Some of you are not going to defend this, and some of you will. Advice, please, for Aries. Good night. That's kind of partly what this is. Uh-huh, yeah, someone wants you to let go of the situation. Yeah. Strength in reverse to the, to the higher font in reverse. The advice is to let go of this commitment. That is straight up the advice. Now that's for some of you, not all of you. Or to let go of a Taurus in your or a Leo in your connection. Yeah. You know, like. But, you know, guys, you see how energy comes out. It shows itself to me for a certain way. Now, you know if this is your story. Switch energies as it applies, but don't come at me in the comments, and don't just spread your negative energy all over a reading. If it's not your reading, don't take it, guys. How is, that, how is that concept so hard to understand? If it's not your reading, don't take it. I'm so serious. I'm so, like, every time I put out a reading for you guys here lately, especially Aries, I don't know what's going on with you, but, like, where are all these negative people coming from? You got nothing better to do but hate on a tarot reader for just painting energy? It's not me. This is not my relationship. I don't know who this is for, and I don't care. I just paint energy. You got nothing better to do but come around and spread your negative energy on a reading. Well, guys, let me tell you what. It, <laughs> stay off tarot. You're out here being irresponsible. Some of you are just out here straight up in your hormones and you got no business watching tarot, okay? Judgment, the divine, is telling you. This is your call, your wake-up call. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. You need to call someone, by the way? Yeah. Put an end to this painful cycle. Stop putting yourself through this misery. Ten of Swords, in reverse. Put an end. Judge the Divine's calling you. It's saying, honey, it's time to be done with this shit. You know? It's giving you the signal. Up to you. Up to you. Hmm. Alrighty. We have Creative Project. Your soul... Creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your love. Some of y'all seriously have nothing better to do. And Aries, I'm not addressing you. It's probably more like cross-watcher energy that I'm actually feeling up in here, but like, holy hell. Like someone just won't leave your energy alone. And it's getting quite boring at this point. All right. Same old, same old. All right. We have Goddess of Balance, Equality, Justice in my book. Electra, Equality. I create and foster reciprocal relationships. Yeah, don't be giving your energy out here to people who don't even reciprocate what you give. You're out here trying to defend something that's not being reciprocated back to you. You're out here giving love to someone who ain't giving it back to you. Don't do that. All right. And we have Alcyone, the Huntress. The Huntress. You're on a personal quest and a mission. You are, look at that arrow. She is pointed at somebody. She is on a quest. She is searching. I'm trying to tell you. The Pleiades light my quest to be wild and free. Someone out here being wild and free for sure. The Pleiades literally light your quest along the way. Aries. Okay. Some of you... Mm -mm. You're on the hunt, for sure, for information. Some of you really recently went through it, and I know that, so that's why I'm really being, I'm being hard on the cross-watchers today who are, who are straight up 
fucking with your energy areas. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not right. You're going through it, and they're just out here taking advantage of you, and I don't like it. All right. Interesting. Yeah. We have hydromancy. Illusion. Someone's creating illusions here. Me no like. Me no like it for you. No? No, 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 like. Nope. Nope, nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. I promise you. They come to the wrong channel, because guys, like I told you, I tell you like it is. You don't like it, leave. There's the door. Okay. You may receive an offer that sounds too good to be true. Okay. Remember that appearances can be deceptive. Don't be fooled by enticing words and promises. As they could lure you into false hope, your dreams will be realized, but not through this particular channel. Instead, call upon your spiritual sight, your clairvoyance, clear seeing, to enable you to see the full picture. When you shine light onto the situation, areas of darkness will be revealed. Do not be scared, but be relieved. For you have been saved from drowning in dangerously dark and murky waters. Tread water for a while, and soon enough, your wishes will be answered. This is the equivalent of the Seven of Cups, guys. Don't be fooled by illusion. Don't be fooled by people who make you false promises, but never take any action towards you. Aries, I hope this reading did serve you. Please let me know down in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Leave a like on the video if something did. I'm sending you so much love and light. Aries, be well.